The mermaid originally dates from 1156. We've had the cellar's data carbon tested. Uh, in 1377, the hotel was burnt down and rebuilt in 1420, hence the sign outside the front. So most of the cooking in here was done over this fireplace. This side of the fireplace was where the smoking took place. All the food would hang up from hooks and you can see the smoke always appears on this side, but not that side. This is Dr. Sin's bedchamber. Um, again, Dr. Sin was a fictitious character who was the vicar of Dimchurch by day and a smuggler by night. Um, and this room has got one of the original secret passages, which is just through here. If anyone needed to uh, hurry, hide away, there's a little medieval toilet there which uh, drops down as a cesspit to the main cellar and also there's a set of stairs which go down to the back of the bar. During the war it was used as a Canadian barracks um, for more sort of injured soldiers as well and uh, so since then we've been very busy with guests from all abroad, all different countries. We've been very lucky over the years with the guests that have stayed here. Uh, Charlie Chaplin, for one, with uh, I think Marlon Brando and Sophie Loren sat in the bar while uh, Charlie Chaplin and his daughter ate in the restaurant. We've had Piers Brosnan stay, um, Prince Edward, uh, Her Majesty the Queen Mother. This is Dr. Sin's lounge and this once upon a time was the old chapel. So during the Reformation, when the Catholics had to hide in a hurry, um, waiting for the tide to be correct at the bottom of Mermaid Street, because we had all the deep French um, deep waters where the French galleons went, um, they weren't allowed to show any form of religion. So carved into the wall here, we have a cross, JHS, Jesus, Hymnum, Salvatore, and the Tudor Rose. So this was our little makeshift altar. 